Yeah, and I think it's going to take some time, Joe. I mean, after school, private tutoring companies like this one are normally full of kids at this time of day. But this notice says that uh, they have suspended classes and aren't really sure when they're going to resume, and that's because of the regulatory crackdown. The schools around the Capitol have been trying to figure out how to survive. Some of them have told us that they are switching to non-core classes, uh, such as calligraphy, and uh, coding, uh, others, uh, many, have said that they're going online and offering one-on-one uh, -on -one private sessions with their teachers. And still others are looking into corporate training or teaching adults. Now, these multiple regulatory crackdowns has been unnerving investors, including here in China, so much so that the state media has issued a number of articles to try to calm people down. Uh, the Communist Party uh, paper, the Securities Times, is... Um, Suggesting that people buy on the dips, uh, the Shanghai Securities News says that China faces no systemic risk. And the Securities Daily is arguing that the Chinese economy is sound, so there shouldn't be any problem. Uh, state media has also been, interestingly, offering some investment tips, uh, saying that people should put their money in new energy, high-end manufacturing, like semiconductors, and the military. So investors both in China and Hong Kong have been very nervous, just like other investors around the world, because they don't know which sector the regulators are going to target next. Also in Hong Kong, investors there are digesting the news, this landmark ruling under the Beijing-imposed national security law. A protester who was flying a flag um, has been convicted of secession as well as terrorism and is likely this case is likely going to send a signal to the city that if you fly the slogan liberate Hong Kong revolution of our times that could land you in prison for life Joe Shepard Smith here thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube